Good day, folks. Welcome back to another time video. Um, this is a little flashback. Uh, Mayfly Nymph. And uh, been asked a few times now to uh, do a video on this one. So uh, here it is. So you can tie this uh, on either hook, the curved nymph or the scud hook. It's kind of a cool look on a scud hook. But uh, for this one, I'm going to go with the more common uh, curved nymph. This is a size 16, and you can tie this from a 14 to an 18, basically. So I've got some tan UTC thread, and I start uh, back here just as a to get a gauge for my uh, for my body. <clears throat> So I'm just going to grab four or five uh, pheasant tail fibers. This happens to be dyed olive pheasant tail, but it's not a big deal if you don't use that. Natural would be fine. <clears throat> so I'm just going to grab this right at the back here. And tail can be about the same length as the body. <clears throat> so I'll just tie that in and kind of tuck it off to the side there for now. And then I'm going to grab some copper brown ultra wire. And this is size small. So I'll tie that in. back just work my way back to where I left that uh, pheasant tail tie in there and then build this body up a little bit just gonna flatten my thread before I do it the body is going to be the thread on the underside anyway so just like to keep it nice and smooth a little bit of a taper here good so now what we'll do is just grab that uh, pheasant tail pull it straight over the top and then just capture it up here with a couple wraps I just hold it in place now I can take my wire when you do this part as you wrap, just wait, and then once you're pulling down, then put some tension on it. And that'll kind of prevent that uh, pheasant tail from wanting to spin on you. <clears throat> I'll just tie off the wire. So we've got that right on top. Nice light body, the dark back, and then we can get rid of this. <clears throat> Just clean this up here. So next material is uh, just one strand of pearl flashaboo. And we're gonna just capture this right up on top try to keep it nice and centered just check that looks good like so now i've got some brown scud back if you don't have scud back you're welcome to use Pheasant tail for the wing case. Again, just make sure I've got my scud back nice and centered. 
And one thing you want to double check is that you've gone back far enough here. <clears throat> so you don't have any bare thread showing. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good right there. Uh, now a little dubbing. So this is a pheasant tail colored ice dub. Um, rusty brown will work too. And if you'd like to tie a hot spot without using thread, then throw some shrimp pink ice dub in here. Makes for a pretty cool little hot spot. <clears throat> so I'm going to dub about half of what I want for the thorax at first here. About like so. And then just grab another four or five uh, pheasant tail fibers. Come in here with a couple just loose wraps. And then I can just kind of pull those legs to length. <clears throat> Same thing on this side. Couple loose wraps. Pull those to about where you want them. And then you can throw a couple tight wraps in. <clears throat> and then just get rid of this excess pheasant. Don't worry if those are sticking up a wee bit right now. <clears throat> those ones aren't too, too bad, but the, when you pull that scud back over top, it'll kind of push them into place. So now just a little bit more of the ice dub. That's probably too much. So, kind of cover up the rest of that thorax, leave a little bit of space here to tie things off. So we'll come in here and manipulate those legs. You can see they've been pushed down by the scud back. <clears throat> and I'll just grab that with a few wraps. Careful when you trim that scud back out. You don't want to pull too much. Sometimes you'll, when you snip it, it'll suck right out of there on you. And then we'll just pull over our flashaboo. Make sure it's nice and centered. You can trim that out. So that's looking pretty good so far. <clears throat> and then I'm going to take instead of so if you want to do the hot spot version right now you would switch to a hot orange uh, thread and just build a little hot spot head um, I'm just going to color this thing with a sharpie Clean that uh, head up, throw a couple turns in there, and that's about it. So that's the uh, little flashback May. Pretty easy tie, really slick little pattern. Had some awesome days with this thing last year. If you look closely at uh, Mayflies around here often you'll find they're quite a bit darker on top than they are on the bottom. That's what that represents and uh, 
pretty easy going. So if you want to finish this off with uh, a little bit of UV resin, um, not totally necessary, but um, kind of highlights the encase a little bit. <clears throat> Just put a dab on there and then don't know where my bodkin is, so oops, use my scissors. Zap that. Got one little short piece of pheasant tail here that doesn't really want to cooperate. So we'll just get that out of there. And that's it. Pretty simple, but uh, super deadly. So that's all there is to that one. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thanks very much for watching. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't. And until the next one, cheers and tight lines.